what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what don't shit if you need a personal it's in gonna be in the description box i'm just now realizing i only got 13 minutes of record time on my phone so we gotta get this in okay now the song that was coming through was stay okay um i've been sitting here staring at the clock on the wall i've been sitting here praying praying she won't call it's just another call from home you'll get it and be gone and i'll be crying okay so, you know, why won't you stay? I'm down on my knees. So, I'm not judging nobody. I feel like there's definitely somebody out here that is fucking with somebody that could be married or already in a commitment. Yeah, see, whoever this is, they're already locked down. They're locked down in some kind of commitment, okay? They feel very trapped and entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. So, they could have a child with somebody, or there could be some kind of commitment, marriage, something like that. They could have gotten a house and bought. And so this kind of hurts because what I'm seeing here is like, I've been sitting here staring at the clock on the wall, hoping they don't call. It's just another call from home, right? And then there's some promises that are being made to somebody. And, you know, I, I don't judge nobody. I just read what comes out, okay? There's some promises being made to somebody, about how trapped and frustrated somebody feels and closed in and how you know they want to leave this situation behind but then all of a sudden somebody might go online and see that these two people done bought a house together right oh we got a new house or we just got this together or we just want went on vacation together right just in, and and I'll be crying. So there's a, definitely an energy of somebody that is in a connection, fell in love with somebody. Okay, can't help it. Can't help that you done fell in love with somebody. You might have known this person for quite a while. All right. Um, and this person is now committed elsewhere. And there's an energy of this person lying to you, the div the divine masculine. Yeah, talking, trying to conversate and get on the same page. What they're doing is really trying to plead their case with you and get on the same page with you. But really, they're, like, they're acting like they feel closed in, trapped, and frustrated in this connection. And they might do because that entrapment card came out. They might have accidentally gotten somebody pregnant. Uh, rushed into a connection and got married, okay? And so they do feel trapped, frustrated, and closed in when it comes to this connection. But at the same time, then somebody sees some bullshit like, okay, two people moving in together. But now I'm also seeing this as somebody feeling very frustrated, closed in, and trapped. And at the end of the day, they feel like somebody, especially if there was like, a marriage that was real quick or a child that came up because that on that entrapment card there is a pregnant belly that this person they're 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 not going to be able to take it anymore they're going to start feeling too closed in too trapped too frustrated and they might end up moving out because i do see on this card it says location change moving okay but let's see let's get more on that for this lockbox yeah tragedy uh forbidden love they feel like they're trapped in this other connection now and now they have been almost forbidden to to come towards it's almost tragic that they can't come towards the person that they are truly in love with they're trapped they're frustrated they're closed in they feel like they done got stuck in a situation that they can't get out of and now they feel like it's a tragedy that they um are basically forbidden from coming or being around the person that they're truly in love with. Look, look at come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. So what you don't see bottom of the deck is that this will be coming back together. Okay. This is a deep spiritual connection. This is a soul contract. This is deeper than what they, what anybody thinks. So yeah, they feel like it's forbidden and it's tragic why? Because all they want to do is come back together with you. 
They don't want to get a home with nobody else. They don't want to be trapped in this situation with this person. They don't want to feel locked in and frustrated. You are their sense of peace. And that's why they feel like it's such a tragedy. And that's why, like, that all that's on their mind is coming back to, together with you. Look at that kiss on the forehead, right? This sense of peace, just wanting to come back to you. Let's see, though, spirit, for this soul over here. Let's see, spirit, for this soul over here. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see for this soul over here. Mm, karmic, see? Projected. Okay, so they will be moving away from this karmic. Karmic third-party situation, future weeks, days, months. There is going to be some kind of physical change. Okay? There's definitely, it's like it's going to get to a point where this person can't take it anymore. They feel like they're forbidden from just, it's like, it's a, a, it's a, it's not like, okay, you're forbidden. Somebody else telling them it's like spiritually like, damn, I can't be around this person that I feel at peace. And I feel this love with, I'm trapped over here in this situation, you know, please somebody come save me. They're going to end up getting so frustrated with this karmic and this situation that, yes, maybe it might not happen today or tomorrow, but within the projected future, days, weeks, or months, they will be moving. They will be moving away. They will be getting the fuck away from this karmic. They will, they will be to the point where they're so frustrated they can't feel trapped anymore. right now and i'm telling you they have this very very strong desire for you and yes it does say lust and sexual chemistry but that's not just what it is they have this deep spiritual connection for you but they are desiring you very very sexually right now they miss the fuck out of you so you could be having like kind of like wet dreams or maybe some shit like that dreams about y'all and that's because they're like look they're doing everything that they can to avoid you they want to come straight towards you. They miss the fuck out of you. They are desiring the shit out of you. But for some reason, they're locked the fuck in. And they're like forbidden from, like there's no way that they can come towards you or whatever. And I'm telling you, they are going to get so frustrated, so upset. They're not going to be able to take it. They're going to be like, man, fuck this. And they're going to move out. They're going to move out and they're going to go towards what they truly desire, what they have been avoiding for so motherfucking long. Look at this. Look, I cannot make this up. Verge, about to reveal, confess. They can't take it anymore. They're going to get so fucking frustrated that they're going to just go off and say, I feel trapped. I feel like you trapped me in this situation. I hate it here. I'm really not in love in this situation. I just feel forced to be here. Okay. I've been avoiding the person that I'm truly in love with, that I'm truly missing so motherfucking much. And they might even just blurt it out. Verge confess on, on spilling the tea. They might just blurt it out. Shit, I don't even fucking want to be here. I want to be over there with them. I've been, and even being honest with this person, this karmic, like I've been avoiding the person that I'm in love with to try to sit over here and try to make it work with you. When I'm feeling trapped and, and locked in and unhappy. And they're going to move the fuck out. They're going to move the fuck out. They're going to move move away. Yeah, look, they're going to end up ghosting, blocking, and cutting off this motherfucking karmic. The history, the past, whatever the fuck was there, that shit happened, that's done, that's over with. They're worried. They're scared. They're scared you might not reciprocate that. If they do fuck around and get so frustrated that they run away because they have avoided you for so long. But Spirit wants you to know that Archangel Michael is watching over this person and you. This connection is protected, okay? And I feel like this, it's like Spirit is going to protect this person from harm because they're actually, like, even though they're scared as fuck of changing, okay? And getting the fuck away from this karmic because this karmic has them entrapped in some kind of way. Um, 
they are going to be protected because they're doing the right thing. They're being guided down the right path. Arch Archangel Michael is leading them down the right path and they're following it. They're leaving. You ain't keeping me locked up in here no more. I'm not going to be feeling like I'm stuck away, forbidden, tragic, that I can't be away. I'm away from the person that I'm truly desiring, avoiding the person that I love so fucking much for this karmic who's trapped me. And now maybe even got a place, live together. No, this person is moving. They're leaving and they're scared. But Archangel Michael got them. They're they're protected. They're prevented from hard. Look, they're, they're clearing space. That's what Archangel Michael is doing for them. Look, clean, cleansing, clearing space, removing negativity out of their life. Shit. They can't take it no motherfucking more. And they're not going to be able to take it no motherfucking more. Look, irreconcilable differences. Divorce final. And did it in the beginning, I felt like that there was some kind of marriage. And if it wasn't a marriage, it was some kind of commitment. Because that song, Stay, right? Why don't you stay? And that's exactly what I hear here. Irreconcilable differences. It's been over. 11-11 when I look down. So if you're feeling bad about like being like somebody's playing you and telling, giving you these promises, that shit's been over. That shit's been over. And they're finally going to come out. They're going to come to a point where they rage out and they just tell it all. They tell it all. They tell it all to this carpet. They don't even care no more. I'm unhappy. I hate it here. I'm in love with somebody else. I'm desiring somebody else that I'm avoiding. I don't want to be in this connection anymore. I want it to be over. There's irreconcilable differences that and it'll never change. I'm unhappy. I'm ready for this to be over with. Bam. And y'all, I only had, a what, 12 minutes on my phone. So that's where I'm going to leave that at, okay? Look, you and this person might end up getting away together, hideaway, vacation, doing something together. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, make sure you comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.